sorry to interrupt. I know you have a meeting, but I think I may have something for you. On the liquor, oh. I figured I'd do some checking into some of the counselor's spousal relationships. It looks like Sandra Fairlinger's husband has been doing business with Mr. Manning. What? Yeah. He owns a small printing company. Manning bought a piece of it shortly before the ad contract went to a vote. That's conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. What does Sandra have to say? What's up? She's in your office. She wants to talk to you. Sandra Fairlinger's in there? All right. Did you have time to read Sylvia's article about Chief Jacobs? No. Uh, give me the highlights. OK, thanks. Um, when asked about the halfway house, the chief gave a blunt assessment to experiment somewhere else, not in my city. It's just another example of our history of being soft on drugs, which comes from fuzzy thinking from soft-headed people of which the present mayor has had softy. I don't know what to expect out of his mouth. Drop a list of potential chiefs of police. Uh, sorry? Give me a list of names of potential candidates for the office of Chief of Police of Vancouver. Replace Bill Jacobs. This is it. I've had enough of his bull. Okay, wait. Jacobs. This is it. I my city. Do you want to take five minutes before you win? No, I'm, I'm fine. Give me that paper. Oh, sir, you sure you want to handle it this way? Okay, and give me an emergency meeting of the police board, okay? So I have that list of names right there. I've had enough of this, and someone's going to get their ass handed to them in their hat. Is this a bad time? I can come back. It's a good time. Why, well, Santa comes out. So, uh, how's things going, settling in? Yeah, well, somewhat like jumping right in, but. So, Sandra. Hello. I'm sure you've heard the allegations that Lloyd Manning's been making about how Pacific Coast Media bought that city ads contract up from under him. I heard that, yes. You heard that? Sour grapes, if you ask me. He's had it a long time. You don't, you don't think that they bought out the vote from under him? Do you have evidence that happened? I got evidence. I got evidence that your husband sold Lord Mining out like a big piece of his company. Right. Yeah, well, that was something that he was trying to do for a while. You don't think that's something you should report as a conflict of interest? Well, no. I mean, uh, yes, I, I guess maybe I should have. That looks bad. <sighs> I know that. I suppose it could look that way. Oh, no, 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 it does look that way. Manning didn't buy my vote. OK, all right, fine. Next question. Who told Lloyd Manning what Pacific Com Media's uh, bid was? Was it me? Somebody did. Well, it wasn't me. Look, I'm really, really sorry that I didn't report the sale of my husband's company. I know it was a conflict. Yes, it was. You want my resignation? Jesus, oh, I don't want your resignation. Calm down. I want your support on the slot machines. I can't do that. What are you talking about? What do you mean you can't do that? Because I'm opposed. All right, as long as you get up in the council, when Ben Solomon starts rattling off about the evils of gambling, you respond. You respond in a positive fashion. Can you do that? Well, I'll uh, just have to question my conscience. On That's that one. fine. You just take as much time questioning your conscience as you did questioning the ethics of your husband being in business with Lloyd Manning. And I'll be satisfied. Thanks for coming by. Well, no. Thank you. Always nice to see you, Sandra. Same here. Uh, you can see they cleared out most of the window cameras, tray of rings, a couple cell phones. All right. Okay, I'm going to check them for some ID. up here in the doorway of the pawn shop here. His name's Yusuf Sadat. Where's the owner? I got him down the street there in my car. Oh, you want to run and get him? We're going to need to talk to him. I'll be out of your way in just a minute here. That's OK. Take your time. Hey, I heard from Maria that the uh, the dog that got killed looked like he'd been hit with a stun gun. Is that right? Yep. What are the constables saying about that? Well, we were trying to catch up with him, but you know, who do you think they were carrying one in their car? They think about using it on the victim? You ask him that? Yeah, it's on our list. Uh, I'd like to know the answer. Let me know. Will do. 